Welcome back. We are all a flutter about this next story. <laughs> we are so lucky here in Pittsburgh to have so many wonderful museums and venues for culture and art and nature. Phipps Conservatory is always rotating exhibits, so no two trips are ever the same. Right, and one of those exhibits is the Butterfly Forest. That's where Daisy Jade is hanging out today. Hey, Daisy, do you have a butterfly there? We do, we have a beautiful butterfly here, if you guys can see, and I have been told this is a queen butterfly, and it's a baby. If you can see, the um, wings are a little bit wrinkly, which means that it hasn't fully developed yet. And the reason why I know this is because I'm here with Braley Burke, who I consider the butterfly expert here at Phipps. And Braley, this place is obviously so gorgeous. Phipps is such a wonderful place, but you guys have created a butterfly forest here in the stove room. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Yeah, so this room has a lot of plants that are very attractive to butterflies, mm -hmm. uh, and they have a really good source of nectar for them. What we do is we have butterfly, well, we, we uh, bring in pupa, and then they emerge into butterflies, and we release them throughout the room. So like this one. Yeah, so that people have the experience to interact with these beautiful insects. That's so cool, and there are so many varieties. I, I mean, this is a queen. I feel like the other ones, um, you mentioned there's a zebra butterfly. We've got Julia butterflies. And there's yeah. only a few that we see floating around. And, and tell us again, why is that? Uh, so they really love the heat and they love the sun. So right now they're still waking up yeah. right now. You can see them zooming around, but uh, it's a little early for them on the morning show. <laughs> way more active later in the day. And also just a heads up with how many types we have, we get new ones in all the time, every week, just depending on what the suppliers are bringing in. Yeah. So if you keep going back to Butterfly Forest, you'll probably be seeing different butterflies every time. Yeah, so so in your opinion, you would suggest maybe like a really hot time of the day, yes. because then they'll be floating around yeah. everywhere. Last week when I was in the 90s, they were going crazy. Well, I think it's cool because <laughs> as I've been walking around, I've been seeing a lot of facts too. You guys provide facts like, you know, butterflies actually don't live very long. Yeah, they live about two weeks. Wow. Uh, you know, you can find other really interesting are. facts, <laughs> like they taste with their feet. Oh, wow, very cool. And what do they do with their antennas? They smell with their antennas. Oh, and they smell. How cool is that? Well, I'm so impressed that this little guy is hanging out on my finger, but this is not the only exhibit you guys have going on right now. You have something else very special, too. Yes, we actually took the artwork of Claude Monet, the father of Impressionism, and we <laughs> turned some of his more famous paintings into actual living artworks that are constantly changing and growing. So, so cool. Come and see the beautiful displays. Yeah, I, I know walking through, I even saw some you know plants that looked like Monet was painting. It's so beautiful. I love this place. And you guys, I mean, if you want this experience, this is so cool to be able to hold butterflies. Mikey and Heather, I mean, look at how beautiful. What's your favorite? <laughs> they do such oh, a wonderful job. I love the Buckeyes. They are so beautiful. Oh, uh, I think that's good <laughs> luck, Daisy. Uh, you, you have a lot of luck in your hand right now. Look at how pretty. <laughs> so fun. Very special. And you know, we yeah. said this going into Daisy's live shot too, that Phipps is always changing. And just to hear all of the amazing things that are there right now, it's worth a trip every time. I love going there. The Butterfly Forest at Phipps Conservatory runs through September 5th.